I'm going to be making some pork curry buns for breakfast. And I'm going to put a cup of hot water in a bowl. And I'm going to add two tablespoons of active yeast and mix it up. And then I'm going to add about two tablespoons of sugar and mix that up. Now I'm just going to let that sit for a little bit. Okay, now that the yeast has thoroughly gotten all nice and fluffy with all that sugar, um, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of baking powder. Mix that up in there. And then I'm going to add about two thirds cup gluten flour. Mix that up in there. About a tablespoon of salt, a little bit less. Mix that up in there. Now I'm going to start adding my um, whole wheat pastry flour. And I'm going to add two thirds cup at a time until we get a nice thick dough. Okay. I think I'm going to add a little bit of oil now. Fourth of a cup of vegetable oil, mix that up, and now I'm going to add another two-thirds cup of whole wheat pastry flour, mix that up. That looks like it's going to start forming a nice dough now, so I'm going to start kneading that with my hands. Okay, now it's starting to come together. It looks like it's coming in a nice little dough ball there. So I'm going to roll it up into a ball. Drizzle it with a little bit more vegetable oil. Rub that around on the ball there. And roll the ball around in the bowl. Get the bowl nice and coated with oil. Now I'm going to take a kitchen towel and get it soaked with hot water and place it on top and then set it aside until it expands probably about half an hour. Okay now I'm going to get started on cutting up the vegetables for the pork buns and I'm going to be using this canned pork here. It's a one pound of pork. You can just eat one pound of unseasoned pulled pork and then I'm also going to be using a can of split sweet peas. I'm going to use one onion, two carrots, and one turnip. So, I'm going to cut the onion first and I am dicing it into small pieces. Now I'm going to cut the carrot and I'm just going to leave the skin on and then cutting it into small bite-sized pieces. Now I'm going to cut this turnip three tablespoons of vegetable oil on the stove in a pan on medium heat. Now I'm going to add some curry leaves, some mustard, probably about, uh, I would say that's an eighth of a teaspoon. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of garlic and probably about a teaspoon of ginger. 
Um, I would normally add more cumin, but I'm almost out of cumin, so, um, well, I am out of cumin, so there's only about a little bit in there. And then I'm adding red chili powder. Now, you could add more cumin, of course, because it would be better with more cumin. And then I'm going to add about three tablespoons of um, turmeric and um, some black pepper. I don't have much black pepper. Maybe I'll add some white pepper. I need to restock on spices. And mix that up in the oil, let it get all nice and fragrant. Now add your onions. salt. Now I'm going to add my carrots and my turnips. And I'm going to add a cup of water. Mix that up in there. And I'm just going to let that simmer until everything gets all tender. Now I've turned this up to medium high and I'm letting it simmer. I'm going to go ahead and drain the pork meat. And I'm going to add the pork meat to the curry. Now I'm going to open the can of peas and drain them. Piece to the curry. Now I'm going to add about two tablespoons of brown sugar to the curry. Mm, that's so good. Okay. I'm just going to let this simmer. While the curry filling is simmering, I'm going to start rolling out the dough. So I'm going to flour my countertop and the dough has risen nicely. I'm going to put the dough on, sprinkle flour on top, grab my rolling pin, get it all floured up and roll out the dough. And I have used all whole wheat pastry flour. Usually when I do do baking, I use whole wheat pastry flour instead of all purpose flour because um, it's just healthier that way. But feel free to use all purpose flour if you want to. Now I'm gonna be using this um, bullet blender cup rim to cut out some circles in the dough and you could use like a canning jar lid but I'm just using this because it's what I have and now we're ready to make our bow so I'm going to pull it to make a round dough and add our filling and then I'm going to pull it up try my best to 
get that filling. I think I had a little too much filling in there. These are not holding together very well at all. just not turning out very well but I'm gonna try making them anyways. I've obviously never made these before. There we go that one turned out pretty good. We'll see how these turn out when I steam them. Maybe it has to do with how much juice is in there, like how much it falls apart. I'm just making a mess. Well, I don't know what to do. They're all kind of falling apart. But I'm going to try steaming them anyways. See if they turn out. So I'm going to add water to my rice cooker. I'm going to spray my steaming basket with coconut oil and place the buns in there. I think I'm going to spray the buns also with coconut oil. I'll just end up with one big bun, I'm sure. But this is kind of turning into a disaster, so I want it to be over with. Plug it in, cook, and I'm going to set my timer for 30 minutes and we'll see what happens <laughs> all right let's see how this uh, concoction turned out oh <laughs> well that's uh, definitely not a recipe to keep hanging around we got one big bun here I probably should have steamed the buns individually. Here's our buns. <laughs> this is interesting. Now let's try and get these out of here. That's what it kind of looks like, a dough ball <laughs> filled with curry. Let's give it a little taste, see what it tastes like. It's pretty good. I'm not sure if it's completely done all the way. I think it is. I think just that gluten flour made it really um, doughy tasting. Mm. It's actually really good. I just wish um, it wouldn't have like leaked. Definitely not my best creation though. But hey, it's not that bad. I'm just gonna have one for now. <laughs> my curry bun disaster.